I am back to check out another AD tour and give you some tips and advice on how to get the look or feel, even if you don't have celebrity money. Uh, if you could like and subscribe on these videos, it would really help. We will continue to do more. If you've got questions, drop them below. Today, we're actually gonna leave Los Angeles. It feels like 80% of these AD home tours are done in Southern California, so I'm excited. We're going to New York City to look at Maud Apatow's relaxing New York home. So let's check it out. Hey, AD, I'm Maud Apatow. Welcome to my home. Two thoughts. First, I'm gonna turn off closed captions so they don't distract me. Second, I love a loud wallpaper moment right when you walk in. Rebelwalls.com. Awesome, awesome spot for a wide variety of loud wallpaper. Everybody that grows up in LA wants to live in New York for a few winters. Wallpaper is such a fun way to make your space more interesting. I know for a long time it wasn't in vogue and people are like, oh, it's gonna go out of style again. And so what? If it does, you take it down, who gives a shit? Um, I love wallpaper. I think if it's done right, it's great. I'm not so much uh, an accent wall wallpaper person. I like a whole room or space. I tend to do it in powder rooms because you can be really loud and it's a space you're not in a ton of the time. Also, if you have a water closet, also known as, you know, a uh, toilet inside of a bathroom with a door that closes, uh, you know, so two people can be in there with privacy. I like to do it in there. And then if you just want to do one space, do your ceiling instead of one wall. It will make it so much better. If you're gonna have stuff for your animals, make it really good looking. Um, Nate Berkus and Jeremiah Brent actually designed a line of pet furniture for PetSmart. We can link that. Uh, make it attractive. It has to be in your home. It shouldn't be an afterthought. Make it fit the space. Also, that white Beaujolais chair, I really love and I think Castlery has that chair and I'll link it because it's a great accent chair. If you don't, I don't know if that's a specific one, but this is the same vibe. Um, if you don't have a big space, it's big impact with a little footprint. Other thing in that space, it's not very big, but she did some really smart things. So if you're looking to make your space larger, you know, you can do these as well. The mirror above the fireplace, I don't know if you notice in the shot, but it perfectly reflects that light fixture. Um, so you're gaining what feels like more space in the room. You're playing with light, which is really great. They also added in a wall sconce uh, next to the fireplace on that wall to the left, if you're looking at it. If you don't have electrical ran, I just put up a really, really easy plug-in wall sconce from nathanjames.com, a hundred bucks, huge impact. It just shows you took the time to think about the space, how it's being used and the feeling that you wanna put into that space and lighting makes all the difference. Her dining area was small, she kept it simple. You know, you don't need to do different chairs and a whole thing. It can just be a simple, cohesive, small matching dining set if you don't have a ton of space and you need it to sort of just fade away. And she has a bar cart. Always a bar cart in a home, even if, well, shouldn't say always, if you can't have alcohol in the house, obviously 
don't have a bar cart. But even if you're not a big drinker, but every once in a while you indulge, it's nice for guests if you do have a bar cart with some spirits. I love this kitchen. Okay, I'm freezing on this shot because I wanna talk about a few things in this kitchen. It is really small, but it's super functional and I love it. She has the built-in microwave. Um, it is above counter, which if you're gonna build it in, that's where I recommend you put it. I don't see why people, unless they have to, wanna bend over for the microwave. Um, other thing that I love are these cabinets. It feels, very traditional in the sense of the style of cabinetry. And I love how, you know, the detail work, every two cabinets kind of looks like one. And then she painted them pink and put some open shelving in. People are so afraid they just want to close it and hide all of the things. Put in some open shelving, let the space breathe, especially if you do not have, um, a ton of space in your kitchen. This just makes it feel airier. And then, I don't know, go on amazon.com and order a set of matching glasses, matching wine glasses, matching rocks glasses, and put those in the open shelf area. Everybody always tells me, oh, but I wanna just hide this stuff. Well, you know what? You spent your money to buy that stuff and hopefully you took some time to think about this stuff and it looks nice, so show the stuff off. Um, just not too much of it. Obviously you want it to still look good, but I love it. The counter and backsplash is the same material, which in a small space is great. And it's, you know, it's funny, the pink fades away as a neutral and really lets that backsplash and counter shine. I, I absolutely love it. I would have a pink kitchen in my house if I didn't just do my kitchen. What she said I liked, her salt and pepper shakers are decorative. I am very much a person who will stare at things and think like, I don't love that, so how can I make that better? And recently, my wife just bought a new salt jar and it looks so much prettier than the one that the salt came in from the store. So, you know, those are the little things that will make your space shine. Sure, remodeling, having a new kitchen is great, but if you just take what you have and elevate it, it's so much better. I always say the best gift that you could give somebody is a nicer version of a thing that they would never buy themselves. So something like a stone or marble salt holder for the kitchen would be a great gift. We already have one, so you don't need to send one to us though. Ooh, another sconce on the right side of the fireplace. A better version of a thing that you probably have in your house. I love her utensils for that. The art, if you notice every single piece she talks about something she loves with it. I was just having a conversation with my cousin who lives in New York City and she's doing her new place and asking me some good sources to get artwork. And there are, I've talked about society6.com before, they have a bunch of individual artists, a lot of different things. I know it's really hard to have patience, but I told her have patience, go to local art shows, see some things because 
If you just are on a mission to buy art, you will probably not buy something that you will love forever. If you wait and you have patience and you keep an open mind and you are looking, but you're not forcing it, it will come to you. You will find something you will love forever. Other takeaway from this living room is you did have the overhead lighting, the sconce lighting, and now we've got mood lighting on the side of the couch as well. So you can see, even though it's a small space, she is still layered all of these different lighting sources. Um, if you're looking for an affordable place to get some decent lighting, target.com does have a ton of stuff. They do different lines um, with some celebrity designers that are great, Joanna Gaines and Shea McGee. I think lighting is so key. I recently have really wanted to replace a table lamp and it's taking me months to find the thing that I want. Other cool spot I found some lighting that I really like is Soho Home. Um, so check that out if you're looking for some cool lighting. realize I pitched Soho Home and I didn't realize that that was Soho Home. This bedroom is great. You heard her talk about her ceiling. It is a different shade of pink. So she's playing with tones there that kind of lime wash finish on the walls creates a lot of texture without being busy. And then there's just a couple of art pieces. The bed and the nightstands are simple. Um, Castlery.com actually has got some cool deals where they're packaged together like a bed with two nightstands that go with each other. So if you're just looking to have somebody tell you this looks good, doing something like that will look good. And she kept it simple. There's symmetry. They've got the same nightstand on each end table and it's really pretty. And the rug is properly sized for that room. You can see it takes up almost all those pretty hardwood floors. And that's my friend how it should be. I did something similar in um, our bedroom at our, our home that we did. There's only three pieces of art. There's uh, a picture above each nightstand in our bedroom and then one kind of in the little entry hallway when you walk into our room. And we wallpapered the entire room and it sort of looks like that. The wallpaper sort of has a lime wash feel to it. Uh, the reason I did it is I had a very long entryway, long wall, and it wasn't, there wasn't enough space to put a dresser on it. Putting a mirror there didn't feel right. Putting artwork sort of felt like you would have to do a fair amount of pieces to make it feel fit. So something like this, a lime wash paint finish, wallpapering an entire room, you don't have to worry about purchasing art or where to place it because that becomes, you know, art in and of itself. I think pink as well as peach, it can be a neutral. I like the way she reused some material when you have a smaller space, that is nice. Or even if you don't, even if it's a larger space, you repeat some elements throughout the home, doing it in a different way or just bringing in the same color palette throughout. It makes it feel like there's some continuity there. So I like what she did um, with that and it doesn't hurt that it's really pretty materials. Well, it looks like that is it. I hope, I hope that that was helpful. Um, it was really fun for me. I love checking out these celebrity homes. Hopefully you got some tips that you can use in your own space. Any questions, drop them below. Please again, like, and subscribe, and we'll be back with more home tours and tips and tricks.